Hello everybody. Starting a vlog with this, who has just done something unacceptable and unforgivable. Don't know why you're purring. You are evil. Pure evil. Hello guys. I'm just going to get ready for the day and chat to you while I do. Um, firstly about the evil cat Daphne who brought a just now brought a mouse in as cats do um, but mum and I didn't know she didn't come and tell us about the mouse she just left it on the floor in the living room that I just walked out of while and stepped on the mouse I presume and hope it was fully dead at the time because all I felt was a crunch under my foot and it was truly awful, 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 awful. So Daphne's in trouble for that and that was honestly just sent a chill through me. I just felt something crunch under my foot and I was like, have I just stepped on a really big crisp? So yes, just getting ready for the day. My skin's really playing up on that cheek again. Why is it always on one cheek, guys? It doesn't make any sense. I don't speak on the phone. Like, I always have my headphones in when I'm on the phone. I sleep on both sides. There's nothing just happening on this side of the face. And it's still constantly breaking out, which is annoying. Anyway, I haven't really been wearing makeup all this week, but I'm gonna put a bit on today because I'm gonna vlog throughout the day. So just to, you know, spare you all a little bit. Um, <clears throat> So I'm just using that hourglass concealer I like. Is it called the Vanish Concealer maybe? They sent me them just before I left London. I've been using it the whole time and I very much like it. Um, how is everybody getting on? How are you feeling? I feel a bit more steady day to day. <laughs> just restless and all the things that we're all feeling mostly. Um, just like Groundhog Day at the moment, it's for lots of people, isn't it? So, yeah, just doing the same thing every day, going for a walk, reading my book, doing what work I can do. Um, so I'm going to have a big chat with you guys later about like, creativity in a time like this and how I'm finding it and things. Um, but yeah, every day is mostly the same. I finished Keith Richards' autobiography. Which I did really enjoy. I don't really know how to talk about an autobiography in terms of critiquing it because I just, I don't know what's the right and wrong way to go about that because it's someone's life, I suppose. And yeah, it kind of lived up to what I expected in terms of how he was and it had all the like drug, sex and rock and roll basically in it that you would expect. And, and like I know lots of the stories of the Stones are quite infamous anyway. So... Oh yeah, I really enjoyed it for that. I would say you have to be a bit of a Rolling Stones fan because there is quite a lot about the music. Some of it I didn't find that interesting because a lot of it was very specific to how he plays the guitar. Which if you were like a diehard Stones fan because of how much of a talented guitarist Keith Richards is then that would be interesting. But um, some of those bits I was like, I'm not that interested in how you tune your guitar if I'm honest. But overall it was very enjoyable and as you can imagine they lived a crazy life. And they also, I don't know if you guys have seen, I'm having like a major Rolling Stones moment anyway. They have brought out a new song, for, um, and it's, it's called Living in a Ghost Town. So it's like about the lockdown and stuff. I don't know if it's a charity driven thing. I would kind of assume it is, because I know they were doing some other charity stuff. But it's quite good. I've been quite enjoying listening to it. So that's been nice, and I'm just, like I said, been mad on the Rolling Stones at the moment. Um, and I suggest... If any of you are not really familiar with them, like if you only know the big hits, go and listen to Exile on Main Street from, from beginning to end. It's honestly incredible. And that and Sticky Fingers are my two favorite albums from them, I think. But Exile on Main Street is just incredible. Um, so I feel like I've just been so heavy on the stones because I've been reading about Keith Richards and, the, and them and watching documentaries about them, making mum watch documentaries about them and also listening to nothing but the Rolling Stones really when I'm going on a walk. Um, yes, I look 
slightly more presentable, emphasis on slightly. I'm going to get dressed now and then change my bed, which is my least favorite task. Oh. where I can show you my outfit very easily. Just got on a black linen shirt from Arquette, uh, Angela Story's jumper that you saw last week. Normally I'd do like a white shirt with a cream jumper, but I quite like the black, it's a bit different. Uh, weekday Seattle, different slides, which have just been way around the house non-stop. Um, and then just pick my trainers on when it comes to go for a walk, really. So this is me today, really enjoying this jumper shirt combo. Oh, hi. Well, Merch, I'd like to sit and chat to you guys while I am up here um, in my bedroom, which is messy once again. Like I just said in that intro, I um, wanted to talk about creativity and stuff. I know I haven't vlogged probably for like um, maybe nearly a week now. Um, I've been updating my blog occasionally, but nowhere in it often as usual. I've been posting on Instagram every day. Um, always like in terms of, obviously when I'm doing this I'm running a business um, and Instagram is where you make most money I'm not making I'm not earning anything at the moment there's no work coming in but that's the one that if I'm like I need to force myself into do something even if I'm not feeling it Instagram kind of is the one I need to keep up appearances on the most which I think everyone feels which is kind of a shame because it's also like in some ways the most restrictive platform at times but anyway so I've been updating on there daily um, but yeah, I haven't vlogged for a while, just because I have literally been doing the same thing day in, day out. Which I know a lot of you will say you want to see, and I also do enjoy watching people do the same thing day in, day out. Because it's so relatable, and it's just so nice to know that everyone, we're all in the same boat with this. Um, but I just, it's just not been coming to me, like, it's all very well doing the same thing. But if you don't feel like you can sort of convey what it is you're doing, even if it's something so mundane, then it's always going to make for really shit viewing, basically. And that's sort of what I've been feeling, like, yeah, I'm doing stuff daily. Um, but I can't say more about it than I'm reading, I'm going for a walk, here's the more, I'm having a cup of tea, I'm having a glass of wine, I'm watching House, I'm going to sleep. Repeat. <laughs> um, and I think that's just because my, it was just where my... I don't know, you know, sometimes your head just isn't really... I think I've been taking every day for as it is, which actually has been really helpful in terms of how my head's been feeling and just taking each day as it comes basically. But that doesn't necessarily mean you've got much to talk about online. Um, so I thought I would just start vlogging and see how it goes and talk about this as a as a topic. Um, and also the thing for me, like I've been sharing stuff online for probably like six years now or something. And I've just shot content in lots of different styles in that time. Like I've done things where I've deliberately set up a shoot and it's all been really thought out. And over the past probably year in particular, I've definitely found my own style more than ever of just shooting things as they are. Like, oh, sorry, I'm just vlogging. Um, just on the, just on a wool, what, uh, it's all just wool 
stuff. So like a delicate one, does it say? Thank you. I was just I was just about to put a wash on, but mum's hadn't finished. So I left it on the side and I was gonna go do it, but she has beaten me to that task. Um all my Uniqlo jumpers need washing, I'm very upset. <laughs> what was I saying? Oh yeah, so I feel like in the past year I've found my own style more than ever in that I've gotten into a place where I know that the skill that I really want to hone is just observing things and capturing what you observe and things not being set up, things feeling very day to day and vlogging obviously lends itself to that massively of just sharing the day to day. And with that, I also realised how much I've relied on travel to keep my content interesting because obviously you're still sharing the day to day, but it's wildly different to your normal every day. So it, it's kind of effortless in making something feel new and fresh. Um, and even being in London, like going to different parts of London or whatever, different people's homes can provide that as well. Obviously, this is an extreme situation of just I'm looking at the same stuff every day and trying to pull content out of it and I suddenly have a breakthrough with it and then I'll have a few days where I'm like, oh no, I'm stuck again with it. Um, I've just, just tried, decided to accept that that's fine. I don't want to change the way I make content. Like I said, this is a path of a skill that I want to develop more and more of this way of observing things and capturing them and documenting them. And to now deliberately, I don't know, I just want to be able to carry on doing that basically but it's obviously really hard at the moment so I'm just going with it I feel like I might have sudden inspiration to shoot loads of photos I'm actually going to post some film tomorrow to my favorite uh, film processor in London to hopefully get some of that back which is photos that I've taken over the past four or five weeks so that's quite exciting because I've been shooting slowly um so yeah hopefully there'll be some stuff coming up but I just I'm basically not forcing anything and I hope you guys don't mind that because creatively I think it's very difficult at the moment and to force it actually you never really create something you're really proud of in the end um so I'm just gonna I'm just trying to go with the flow and stick to what I know I want to create um and find ways to do that basically just on my walk come home eating an obscene amount of crisps can't stop eating shit craving crap all the time and then I'm like, why is my skin bad? Well, Elizabeth, because you're eating shit. That's probably why. Um, oh, I'm just going to sit in my favourite chair and maybe do some work, maybe read. See where it all takes me. But mostly just think about how I need to stop eating so much crap. Now would be a good time to be actually putting good things into your body. Not crisps after crisp after crisp. Hello, everybody. It's Jules Day. Hello. Hello. I'm vlogging again. Oh, that's nice. Which doesn't seem very exciting because I'm not doing anything very exciting. I'm finishing my book. How many pages left? Oh, about oh not many. Not many. Ten? Five. Less than ten. Big book. <laughs> what is it called? It's called A Book of Bones by John Connolly. Book of Bones by John like Connolly. John, John well, I shan't disturb you then until you've finished it. I'm going to um, mess around on this. Hold on. Oh, it's yours, yeah. It is mine. I think people. We have a trip down memory world. lane yeah, with the apps. Yes. Um, oh gosh. Sorry? Mm. Oh gosh, I'm thirsty. Just had a bath. Just in my. I've got a coordinated lounge piece on, which is beautiful. It's from Vince. It was sent to me. I have to say, the coordinated vibe feels very intense, very coordinated, perhaps. Um, it's the softest thing known to man. This I would wear in the real world. These are the best. Um, but I think for most of the time I shall be wearing them as separates because I feel, I don't know what I feel like, just very coordinated. Um, I'm just balancing you on a glass of water because I like to live life on the edge. That's two in notifications from Instagram. Oh gosh, I just, I feel like I even looking at myself here, I need to go and put a different top on um it looks great for a photo but actually lounging around the house i'm like gosh i feel so together anyway what i have here is an old 
iPod Touch. 16 gigabyte. Does it have the year on the back? This is the first sort of Apple thing I ever had. And mum, for some reason, has been using it to listen to music on. Um, oh my gosh, just look at it. Look at what all of the all the font and everything looks like. About, when was this? Um, but it doesn't have a year on it like they do nowadays. Legal? Nope. Anyway, it's very old, as you can see. Um, and I used to use this to listen to music. My music will be very much the same as what it is now. But do you remember when you used to be able to see music like this? Saw lots of Led Zeppelin there. That was a bit of Leonard Cohen that popped up. More into Metallica. <laughs> Nickelback. Oh, the shame. Nirvana. Pearl Jam. Anyway. Um, so I thought I might just have some time playing games on this. I'm going to sit lower so you firstly can see my beautiful visage. And secondly, we're having less of a cream onslaught of the of the outfit. Um, sorry I look like a bit of a greasy mess, but I am a bit of a greasy mess, alas. Um, right, what have we got on here? First things first, possibly one of the best ever, iPod games, Doodle Jump. I need to find a way to show you. Right, one sec, we're playing this. Right, I'm playing this by playing it through the viewfinder of this camera, which I think gets me extra skill points oh my god or maybe not all because i'm still doing dreadfully oh this game was so good oh if you can hear a weird noise behind me it's daphne on the sofa oh what a classic okay let's see what else we've got on here literally so many games flick football i used to really like that Reflex test sounds like something I'll be really bad at. Get ready, I'm ready. You've got 30 seconds to hit as many targets as possible. Start. Three, two, one. Oh, go. Oh my gosh. I think I'm quite good at this. Oh no, I'm missing loads. Oh, that's shadow like that game. <laughs> um, what else? I'm just trying to think if there's any other classics on here. I'm, this is my evening now, playing this. I remember this one where you have to like tilt it and move the ball around. Fall down, I remember. Obviously we all know Tetris. Oh, this one, I think I used to like this one where you have to build a build a big tower. If you guys remember some of these, this one's not going to work, is it? Um, Doodle Jump was a classic. Oh, this seems to ring a bell. Do not press. Do. Okay, if I won't press it again. One more time. Again, do it. Okay, now if you've... Why was this ever something that entertained me? <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, Facebook. Not even something I use nowadays. Was there photos on this? This feels risky. Saved photos. Just lots of screenshots of this, whatever that is, um, videos, look at how different it all looks, lots of short Pixar films, again for some reason, you didn't have text, look at the YouTube app, oh. the last thing I searched was Lady Gaga Alejandro, <laughs> Oh dear. Well that has provided some light entertainment. What do you think, madam? Hmm? Bringing in nasty mice for me to tread on, aren't you? You are covered in bits. What have you been doing? 
You're like full of soil. Oh, Mum, Daphne's been gonna be in trouble. Daphne's been full. Mum. Absolutely deaf as a post. Mum. Daphne's going to be in trouble. Yeah. She's rolled in something loads and she's full of soil and now she's sat on the sofa. Daphne. <gasps> Really up. Oh, I it wish they still made these. It needs powering up. Oh, I'll put it on the thing, it'll charge it. Oh, why? I wish they still made them just for music. Oh. Are you not going to tell Daphne off, Mom? That I'm, I'm going to, coming back to tell you off, madam. I got you in trouble. Oh, I'm in trouble for something too bad. The sounds of that. Um. Yes, that's all I've, as you can tell, I'm clutching at straws for things to talk to you about here and things to entertain us all with. Um, mm, definitely agree with that. Mum found another amazing relic, the old iPod, which I can't use. There we go. Focus. I wish they still did them like this. It's like a separate... Thing for all your music. It was so cool. I'm gonna when I go for a walk later today, take this and just shuffle it and see what comes up. <laughs> it's now Wednesday morning. Um, it's gone rubbish weather. It's grey and wet and miserable, but it's like that all over the UK for most of this week, really, maybe even longer. Um, which I feels like a good and a bad thing. Bad because it's been so nice to. Like obviously the weather really improves your mood and it's been so nice to go for walks and stuff in the sunshine but also I feel like it's easy to easier to feel like a hermit when the weather's rubbish so maybe actually being stuck inside will feel more natural when the weather's shit constantly but we shall see um look how long my hair's going it's crazy everyone's gonna come out with like long Rapunzel locks <laughs> um I've got a counselling session excuse me in like half an hour I'm just sort of pottering around until then um, and then I shall edit this vlog and get this live for you and hopefully be on more of a vlogging role I wasn't actually the word I was after there but um, I'm not making any promises regarding that if you guys have any specific ideas of things you'd really like to see then of course let me know um, and I do want to keep checking in and like showing you that I'm still here doing the same things day in day out <laughs> like the rest of us uh, but yeah like I've already talked about this haven't I but do let me I could do some fashion videos like I've been sent some stuff I've got a gorgeous shirt here to show you which I'm going to put on after I've done my counselling session which is from Arquette and um, they sent me this shirt the black shirt that I had on yesterday and some ballerina pumps um, but I um, will show you those when I actually can wear them and talk about if they're comfy and stuff like that but yeah that shirt is gorgeous so i'm very pleased with that so i could do some fashion -y videos um but also it doesn't really feel like it feels a bit tone deaf actually to do that right now so oh, who the heck knows this is the shirt guys from arquette i got it in a 38 i'm just going to go into the bathroom and there's better lighting in here um so that you can see this look you see that detailing through the lapel it's so good it's like a I don't know what material this kind of crepey no it's not crepey silky <laughs> I don't know it's just really 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 nice I really recommend like I said size 38 nice split up here oh I'm gonna wear this so much you can tell really good one what is it Oh, um, I'm going to sign this vlog off here guys, hope you've enjoyed it, feedback welcome as always, I tell you what, let's get out of this light, mum has, I think I've said this before, she's got the brightest lights, it's like being at the dentist when you walk in there, um, but yes, I hope you're all doing okay like I said, um, 
I'll be back at some point in the near future. Who knows when? It's just going to be a nice surprise for you all. I'll link this fabulous top in the description box or anything else I've mentioned. And yes, bye.